Hello, hello, everybody. Pone Gore Stormfiend here, bringing you uh, my first impressions of Yasuo. Like always, I jump into bot games to give you my first impressions so I can get a feel for the champion. I have not played Yasuo before. Uh, I have not uh, really looked at him that much either. So this will be straight first impressions, never been touched. Um, like to say so far, I kind of like the aesthetic a lot. Um, when Yasuo was first announced, the idea of a samurai, I wasn't too keen on. I was like, wow, that's original, whatever, Riot. Um, so far, from what I've seen aesthetic-wise, and, uh, he, he seems pretty interesting, so. Grab a Doran's play and pots. We're gonna head mid, like always, just because it gives, it's an easy lane to farm, I guess, maybe. It's not really a reason I like to go mid. So... First off, um, just looking down here at him, run animation's a little bit weird, but understandable. Uh, he looks pretty cool, I'll give them that. He has this thing here, which is resolves, resolve. At higher stacks, Yasuo will be shielded from the next time, uh, shield the next time he is dealt champion or monster damage, okay. That's his passive, it's Way of the Wanderer. Uh, moving grants flow, which is tracked on Yasuo's resource bar. Moving faster grants more flow, and maximum flow damage from a champion or monster briefly grants, briefly grants a shield. Uh, it starts at 60 for level 1, but scales. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool and interesting passive, and it encourages this movement and stuff. And then you also have Intent. Yasuo's critical strike chance is doubled, but his critical strikes deal 10% reduced damage. Current bonus is 0%. That's a pretty cool passive out, honestly. Next we have Steel Tempest, it has no cost, something to note. He doesn't, he sort of has, he doesn't have a resource system, but he has this bar down here, which I'm not sure what it is, but, anyways, so yeah, no cost on his abilities. Uh, Steel Tempest, uh, Thrust Fort dealing physical damage. On hit, Steel Tempest grants a stack of Gathering Storm for 10 seconds at 2 stacks. Steel Tempest fires a Whirlwind that knocks uh, targets airborne. Steel Tempest is treated as a basic attack and critical strike applies on hit effects and it's full and cast on reduced by attack speed. Okay, cool. So he's kind of like a caster? Okay, that's neat. He actually knows how to swing a sword, so that's something. Uh, his W is Windwall. Uh, we'll look at that here in a second. He feels pretty fluent and stuff, like, he feels good. He feels like he sh like a samurai should, I guess. Um, so yeah, we got Windwall. Passive, dashing builds an extra 4% of maximum flow. That's pretty cool. Alright, so now we have two stacks of our... Whoosh! Oh, cool! So the range gets bigger too if you have two stacks. And then if you activate, you create a wall that blocks all enemy projectiles. What I'm curious is if it still blocks turret shots. It used to. Next we have our E, which is sweeping blades. Oh god, owie. We didn't get the ignite off. Uh, what Sweeping Blades does is dashes through target enemy, dealing magic damage. Each cast increases your next uh, dash's base damage by 25%, up to 10, uh, up to 100%. Cannot be recast on the same enemy for 10 seconds. Okay. If cast while dashing, still Tempest will strike as a circle. So, alright, that's interesting. So if we dash, okay, that's pretty cool. I guess you would max your Q first because it's your source of damage. Mess that up there. So all right, so that's interesting. He's an interesting champion. Um. 
I don't know about his carry potential, maybe? It seems like what you want to do is just harass, harass with your Q. He's kind of like, like a mid-range Zed, actually, if I had to say. Okay, so Windwall does not block uh, turrets anymore. That's probably a good thing. Doesn't feel like he does a lot of damage, but that might just be because I don't have a lot of AD right now. It's pretty interesting. We almost have our ultimate. But it seems like, yeah, you just queue uh, to like farm and stuff. Alright, so we have our ultimate. Uh, dashes to an airborne enemy champion, deals 200 plus physical damage, and holds all airborne enemies in, in the area, in the air for an additional one second, resets all stacks on Gathering Storm. For 15 seconds, Yasuo gains 50% uh, bonus armor penetration. This affects armor from items, boss rooms, and masters. That's pretty cool. So, alright. So it seems like the big gimmick with this guy is like, uh, like moving around and knocking people airborne. It's pretty interesting. I gotta say, he feels pretty fun, but I don't know about his effectiveness. Like, it feels like I don't do damage. This, like, basically just feels like a gimmicky auto-attack. It's exactly what it like. It, it feels like a, a gimmicky auto attack. It's pretty neat though. I'm curious to see, like. He seems like he has the potential to be really strong, but he feels like his early game like output is really really weak. But he feels like he has a lot of potential to snowball. It's hilarious that it is to say. Now what I'm curious is if I do this. Okay, so if I circle my Q when I dash, it uh it knocks everything up in the circle. That's pretty cool actually. This guy's pretty cool, I gotta say. He's really he feels really fun to play. Alright, so let's see about this ultimate, I guess. Since we haven't got to see this. Alright, so we'll... I don't know how I feel about that ultimate. It seems like he would be really well in a team with, like, Sho or Ally, where they can set him up with the knockup. He feels really fun though, I gotta say. Uh, only thing I think that may need to change is maybe the Q on a shorter cooldown. It feels like you're waiting on that way too much for the third proc. I like that he's really mobile though. That's really awesome. But I don't know if a mobility champion's good right now. 
especially where we've been seeing a lot of mobility creep and stuff. I gotta say though, first impressions are pretty positive. It definitely seems like he could be annoying to lane against if he's constantly uh, dashing through minions and stuff to reposition. Uh, gotta say, animations and stuff look really cool. Um, I think they might need to nerf his ponytail though. This big bushel of hair is a little bit annoying. Like, I, I understand he should have it, I just think it's a little too big. Alright, so... Let's... That's pretty cool though. I, he's pretty cool. Like he feels really, really fun. But he does feel like he's lackluster in damage. Like he doesn't feel like he's doing a lot. Admittedly, I did go for Bork instead of like a pure damage item, which might be part of it. Oh no, I died. Yeah, no, definitely really, really fun champion. Um, I gotta say, probably one of the funnest they've come out with for a while. Lucian was really fun too, and well, I guess I guess they want to get technical. No, it's not one of the funnest they've come out for a while. They seem to have this thing where they'll put out a couple really fun champions, and then they'll have some really eh ones. All right, so. Let's build a static ship next. Why not? Um, so yeah, it's really cool that Steel Tempest applies on hits, and the fact that you can really harass with it is really cool. I don't like the limitation on this ult. Like, you really need, like, you have to have a knockup to actually use it, and it's kind of annoying. Because, like, if you, if you miss your Q with the knockup, then you basically don't have an ultimate. He's really good at farming, it looks like. You can clear waves pretty easily. wonder what his dance is. Let's find out. If I spell it right. I don't... really... I don't really get it. Okay. Oh, I'm dead. Ow. Oh, yeah, it looks like he just, like, sits back and plays an instrument, then. That's, that's okay, I guess. The shield seems to scale. You might see the shield get a nerf, maybe, because the shield seems really strong. Because, like, right now, I'm sitting with 
Like right now, this gives me 200 damage. Uh, 200 damage shield. Likewise, I don't know about this passive where you get double your double your uh, crit bonus either. That could be really strong if you win. Wonder if you could build a crit Yasuo. I have 18, which means my crit chance would be 36. Yes, I believe so. It's pretty cool, though. Seems like actually maybe an early buy of like Adverse Blade would be good since you farm really well and the crit's really useful. I went the Morgana and said I got the uh, Leona. We can get Sack Ship now, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, overall, first impressions really positive. I, I strongly recommend this champion. Um, I don't know if I'd look at him if you're looking at a really competitive champion because I'm not sold on him competitively yet. Though I could be wrong. Um, again, first impressions are first impressions. But he feels really good and he feels really fun to play. He uh, actually, he kind of reminds me of Katarina in that he's like really, there's a lot of momentum and you're not just like auto attacking or waiting on abilities. You're really involved in what you're doing. You're doing stuff. So that may be why he's so fun is the fact that he's really involved. You're not just waiting on stuff. So yeah, I'll, uh, it's pretty much just going to be me finishing off this game now, but, you know, feel free to keep watching. But yeah, the TLDR is, yes, it was awesome. Bye. Support a riot. Bye, um. Seems like I do a lot of damage actually. Now. I've got like items, but that just. Huh. Yeah, it seems like I did a lot of damage there. Maybe it's because of the crit, though. Grab Infinity Edge. Infinity Edge seems really good. Uh. Oh, it's because... Uh, drink it slot. Let's sell that. Go back to the Infinity Edge and grab the club instead. 
So we now have 35, which means we have 70 crit chance. According to, yeah, 70 crit chance. I think that might get nerfed. I think that's really, really, really ridiculously strong. Alright, should be able to drop this no problem. Yeah, like his, his swing animations, everything are beautiful. I know who I'm probably going to be playing for a while. I keep thinking that it will block turrets and it doesn't. Ow. Uh, the crown right for me. Oh, wow. I died, though. <laughs> Alright, grab Infinity Edge. It seems like I would say probably Infinity Edge and Static Shiv are going to be core items just because of the way they interact with them. Let's grab a. Grab Ravenous Hydra, actually, yeah. That puts us at 9% crit, so. All of the crits. So that means our Q on average is going to be doing, what, 3, 6, a little over 700, I think. Which is pretty good. I'm still not sold on this alt, though. And that has a 1.33 cooldown, which is nice. Actually, you could probably substitute the Shiv for a Phantom Dancer. Although, I like the... I'm a big fan of the Shiv. But yeah, it seems like I just shred things now. Wow. I've never felt like I've shredded things so hard like this since, uh, since like, uh, fucking, like, Xin Zhao. I think, I think, I think being able to get 100 crit really easy is a problem. Let's go fiddles. Alright. Yeah, like we, like I just shred stuff. Wow. Oh, I can see this guy. 
Well, I mean, I, I am against bots, but, like, the fact that I'm able to drop these bots, like, so ridiculously quick. Especially where, I gotta be quite honest, the item build I have, like, the fork is really subpar. I died, whoops. Trap Hydra. Sell that. Question is, do we want Last Whisper? Yeah, I guess Last Whisper wouldn't be bad. Probably should take a defense, but I don't know. I guess the pros and cons would be like, for this we get 20 crit, 40 attack speed, 6 movement, and the passive. Whereas with Phantom Dancer, we get what? A little bit more crit. We actually, we went Phantom Dancer, we get, we cap our crit. And we can move through units, which is good. Maybe that Phantom Dancer is actually superior to the static ship. The only thing the ship gives us is better clearing and a little bit extra burst because the ship can crit and it'll crit for like 200 or something? So, I could see him, I, if his Q didn't work the way it was, he could be a really good jungler. Yeah, I know, this guy is, is silly strong. I think he's going to get nerfed just like based on his damage. It's really ridiculously high. Anyways, this has been my first impressions of Yasuo. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you all next time. See ya.